Hey guys, Max Selby Queen here, and welcome back to some more Finding Paradise. Um, so in the last episode, uh, we actually went back uh, quite a few uh, bits of time we went back into. Quite far back, actually. So far that uh, we went back to his childhood. Where we did learn that, in, of course, there is another woman in the picture. We don't know exactly too much about her yet. Uh, but we are back into a little bit more into the future now. We're towards the towards the adult to almost elderly stage right now. And we are at, I believe, a concert right now for Sophia. I think is her name. Uh, she has a concert and she is getting ready to perform. So let's get right back into it. Who's got the best nose? You do. Oh, yes, you certainly do. What are you looking at? Oh, okay. Well, we're just gonna come through here and not... Don't mind us. <laughs> so, what did you want to play? Doesn't matter much, really. Why don't you display your scales and I'll do that accompaniment for it. <laughs> are you... We trying to calm you down or me? I happen to find the simple things mindless and relaxing. Fair enough. Alright, so we got a note. The scale theme. Let's actually go ahead and read that note. A thing Sophia played that accompanied Colin's skills. Alright. Faye, a gift a girl from across the balcony oh yes Faye that's who we met uh Faye is who we met and she was the girl from across the balcony very interesting all right so we have found the memento place where we place them but first we need to go find all the mementos first I don't know if I'm saying that right I think the memento is actually the thing that we put the little marbles into but I always get it mixed up. Anyway, let's go ahead and see if we can find some more. Because we have quite a bit to find. We have to find four more. So five in total. Oh, and there's another one. All right, good. This is very helpful. What are you doing slacking, on, slacking off up there, Ash? Oh, come on. I've already set up a whole row of chairs. I even named it Asher's Row. Everyone who sits will pay a toll. Oh? I'll let that take care of your allowances then. Not cool, Dad. Oh, hey, where's Mom? Not sure. I'm gonna go look for her. That's why you need to get your butt down here and help. Ugh, alright. Okay, so I guess we're, we're still kind of going back in time because I think he found him first. Or he found... No, he found her after this happened. Because when... Ooh, why am I yawning? I shouldn't have woke up so early. <laughs> because when we first started this area, he was talking to her about the skills and that she needed to calm down. So this obviously happened earlier. The lad grows young so fast. Ah yes, grows young so fast. I get it. Okay. So I don't... I think there's anything else down here? There's just a bunch of chairs. Oh, what the? Uh oh, what's going on? It's flickering into another memory. Uh, or not. <laughs> he took the words right out of my mouth. Any idea what that was about? How should I know? Well, you are the technician. And to be fair, this isn't the only weird thing that's happened this trip. Are you sure you didn't forget a wire or miss a calibration? How dare you! My calibrations are as spotless as Bambi's butt after he lost his spots. Okay, okay, I'm just saying you should keep an eye open. Alright, well that was a bit weird. But I think we might find the last one back here. If I had to guess. 
Hey, have you guys seen Sophia? Check the practice halls. I saw her going there. Thanks, will do. Y'all should visit, by the way. We're gonna miss having her play here. Aye, we will. And they never did. You don't know that. All oh, right, we got them all. Good. Now we can go back to the cello and place them all in there and see what happens. This is very interesting though because the memories keep getting a little messed up. I'm wondering if this is the actual memories getting messed up. If he's like potentially dying or something quicker than we thought. Or if this has something to do with the machine. But Watts is obviously saying that it has nothing to do with the machine. So who knows. But let us press on and put them in. And activate the memory. Prepare it. And see what we got here. So... Okay, so we can't go this way, we can't go that way. Ooh, this one's actually... Quite difficult? Yes? Maybe? Possibly? Oh gosh, we have so many clocks now. I did not mean to do that. I just wanted to... Put the green ones over there. Oh boy, this one could be kind of difficult. Maybe? Okay, we're not making any progress, I know that much for sure. <laughs> we are not making any progress. Oh wait, how come... How come the green one won't duplicate? That's weird. So these we can't move at all? Okay. I guess we need to get get these to go up. Oh, I see. Okay, so we got a green one here, a green one here. We need to make another green one, possibly? I am so confused. I told you it would only be a matter of time before the puzzles would get to me. Uh, so blue and purple. <coughs> Blue and I think there's two for two different clocks here. There's a purple clock and a blue clock. And we want the purples together. You really can't, you really can't move anything. Um Oh, I can't move those. I can't move these. I just have so many clocks that I can't get rid of. <laughs> oh no. How am I supposed to complete this one? I have literally no clue what I'm doing. See, I told you it was gonna happen. I was like, you guys just wait. You guys just wait. I'm gonna get to a point in this thing where I'm not even gonna be able to do these puzzles anymore and it's gonna be difficult and I'm obviously not gonna know what I'm doing and I'm supposed to be knowing what I'm doing. I think I might have messed it up, possibly, because I can't, I can't move any of, any of these. And I have a, oh, I have a, two green ones here. Oh, okay, I get it. There we go. Oh, I did it. Oh, thank goodness. It was just the green ones that I was trying to get. Okay, I was wondering what was going to happen. Now we can go through. I really thought I was going to be stuck on that forever. <laughs> hmm, you know what's weird? What? This memory is of his wife's last con concert, yet we didn't see any of her concert itself. There was a flicker of it back there, I guess. Still, self-absorption, ahoy? Perhaps, but it depends. What we see here is largely influenced by his actual regret regrets, after all. Try to remember that what we see here has more to do with relevance than importance to him. Eh. Something still feels odd to me. 
But alright. See you on the other side. Alright. At least I have water this time. Most of the time when I do a lot of this reading, I don't have any water. Come on, it's just a bed. Yeah, yeah, I know where it is. Oh, so we're back with Faye now again. Why do we have to come so far just to play some music anyway? Have you seen the view up here? It's unreal. Besides, no one no one to be around to tell me I suck a cello. <laughs> you suck a cello? Eh, you get a pass. Race you to the top. Oh, okay. I, I read it as a question. She really said, he sucks at cello. <laughs> that girl from the balcony, huh? I don't know if his wife would like this. It's not much to fuss over. They were just kids. And besides, this was long before Colin even Collins even met Sophia. Still, the memories we see here tend to be relevant to this re to his real time regrets, right? It's not our job to judge. Let's just see how it goes. Okie doke. We will see how it goes. But we need to go a long way away, maybe? Are they up here? Oh. Uh, maybe they're up here. To the left. Okay, there's a lot of places to go. There we go. Okay, just uh, give me a moment. And you wanted to race to the top, huh? It's the cello. You try carrying this thing uphill. Not to mention you're like weightless. Hey, it was your idea. New idea. Break time. It's just a cello. It's all hollow inside. What you need is some real exercise. Hey, hey what, what are you doing? Hop off, we're gonna roll down the hill and die. Wow, so grim. I thought you just said I'm weightless. At least a little be at least be a little consistent. Why are the best places always so hard to get to? What's the point of it if it just tires me out to get there? Might as well just close my eyes and pretend I'm there. You're such a downer, you know that? Look at me! I'm Colin. I just roll around and complain all day. You can stay here if you wanna, but I'm going places. Okay. You go, girl. <laughs> well, at least that was a memory. I feel like this is gonna be a lot of memories just going up the hill. Apparently they had a bit of trouble getting up there. Now the question is, do we go to the left or do we go to the right? Uh, we go to the, to the right. Okay. Well, they finally made it to the top of the hill, at least. So, what can you play? Just the scales, sort of. Hill? But it's been months! Hey, not everyone's got those fancy private tutors like you. I'm just figuring it out as I go. Uh, why don't you play a bit, of, a bit and show me? Okay, but it's just the scales, you know. Okay. Well, it could be worse. It could always be worse. Don't you practice? Yeah, but it's so boring to play the scales over and over. I wish I could just jump directly to playing melodies. Here, why don't you play it again? All right, here it goes. Oh, he's going to play the melody, or she's going to play the melody, and he's going to play the scales. C. With the right accompaniment, anything can be a melody. Yeah. 
Interesting. Isn't that what Colin and his wife were playing in the last memory? Yeah. Can we judge now? Hmm, maybe not. He sure brought that song a long way into the future. Well, to be fair, it's just the scales. What I'm, mo what I'm more curious about is how his wife knew the same accompaniment as to it. The scales theme. I think Faye played that accompanied Colin scales. So Faye and Sophia played the accompaniment themes. Uh, an empty cello case and a weathered green book. Ooh, okay. He sure likes taking that book everywhere. I'm actually surprised he's not getting blown away by the wind. Wow, those are some giant flowers. I think it's a uh, hibiscus. Odd place for a wild one to grow, though. All right, so we have all the memories, I'm pretty sure. Yes, we do, so let's place them in. And please let this one be a little bit more easy than the last one. Okay, so... This is gonna go up here. Here, here. Yes. Um... Hibiscus. We want that up. Here. Up. Here. Yes, that's what we want. Okay, I'm kind of figuring it out a little bit. All those clocks that I was trying to do were just trying to mess me up. I wasn't supposed to be doing the clocks. I was supposed to be doing the, the different colored ones, like the, the green ones and stuff. This one happened to be the hibiscus. I don't know why i just thinking about the clocks. All I'm thinking about is um, doing three in a row. I'm not thinking about the shapes and the colors and all that stuff. I should be because I do need to be doing the puzzles the easy way instead of making it ten times harder for myself. Huh. Have you ever seen wild hibiscus around this part of the world? Don't know. I'm not the wannabe plantologist. It's called botanist. Oh, hey, look over there. Oh, there's only two here. Oh, interesting. So this one's kind of short. Careful up there, Ash. Those look a bit loose. It's all good, Dad. I got this. You should come up here and play too. Listen, at least come down and let me fix it first. Never. All right. Well, he did not listen to his dad. <laughs> That's for sure. Hmm. What is he doing? Who is he looking at? Could it be Faye, perhaps? And there's a regret. He walked away to look at Faye, and his son fell. Are you okay, son? Ash? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm invincible! Alright. <laughs> but now she's gone. Ooh, mysterious woman is gone now. That has to be a regret. It has to be. Unless he didn't know who the woman was, maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Was that? Don't know. Let's try not to jump to conclusions. Oh no, we are not jumping to conclusions. Not just yet. What's wrong with him? The joy of being a parent, probably. Uh, we need to find the... Ah, there it is. The memento thingy. Let me place them in. Thank you. I don't know why it was moving around so much. Alright, so we will prepare this one, go into that, and then after we go into that one... Some memory lane routes the way... Some memory lanes route the way we, rem we remember. Okay. So I guess that just means the arrow is going to send it the way that 
Okay. I got it. Seemed pretty simple enough. Let's go through this one and get to the other side, and then we will end off the episode. Because we've been going for about 20 minutes now. I want to kind of keep the episodes 20 to 30 minutes in length if I can, because I know sometimes the story is... It gets to a bit a part where we can't stop, so I like to stop it whenever I can. When we do get a good point to where we can stop. Uh, what is going on? Is that are we a kid? Yes. Okay, so that's him. I was gonna say that is that his son or is that him? But that is him. And a paper airplane. So maybe that's Faye, perhaps. Yes, it is. Been waiting for me, huh? What took you so long? Yeesh, I made it, didn't I? I got a life, you know. Oh, where'd you learn to do that? Uh, it's called talent. Come on, weren't you gonna show me your school? Yeah, the classroom should be cleared by now. Are you gonna stay for our band practice as well? Yeah, yeah, lead the way. Something went down between these two, I just know it. Aw, oh, don't they remind you of us when we were young? Not one bit. Alright, so, so far, we, uh, we've gotten a bit more story here. I'm gonna go ahead and save the game where we were so that we can remember it for the next time. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and end off the episode here. Um, and then next time, of course, we're gonna continue on from where we left off. Hopefully we'll get a bit more into the story and kind of figure out a bit more about what's going on with Faye and Colin here. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed and of course I will see you in the next one.